Hey everyone, it's John here and in today's video we're going to take a look at three different ways that you can get all combinations of items from two lists. Let's take a look. The first method we're going to take a look at for getting all combinations is with the reduce function. So the reduce function is going to allow us to loop through an array of values and then for each value in the array we're going to be able to perform some calculation. Now the calculation that we're going to perform is with an H stack to combine one item from this list here with all of the items from this list. So let's take a look at an example. So we can use H stack with any one of these values and then combine it with all of the values in this array here. And then we've got some NA errors and we can replace those with the if error function. So the if error function is going to return this value here unless it's an error, in which case we just want to return the letter here. And when we press enter, now we've got B in this column and then all of the numbers in this column here. So if we use the reduce function to loop through each of these values and perform this calculation, then that's going to allow us to get all combinations of all of those values. So let's use the reduce function here. And the reduce function takes an initial value and here we're just going to give it an empty string. And next is the array that we wanna loop through in this case, it's going to be our list of letters here. And then the reduce function needs a calculation and that calculation is going to use a lambda function. And the lambda function inside the reduce function requires two parameters, an accumulator value, and here we're gonna denote that with A. And the accumulator value is essentially the previously calculated value as we loop through our array. And we also require a current value, and here we're gonna denote that with V, and that's going to represent the current value from the array we're looping through. And then lastly is our calculation, and here we're gonna use part of this, but here instead of just a particular cell, we're going to use the current value as we're looping through the array. And let's close that off and see what we get. And so the reduce function loops through this array and it's actually going to return the last value that it calculates. And you can see that that's what's returned here. But we can get all of the values by using our accumulator parameter and a vstack function to stack all of the results. So let's edit our calculation here with a vstack function. And we're gonna stack our previously calculated value by using the accumulator parameter along with our current value. And when we press enter, now we've got all combinations of our values from both lists. So here you can see that we've got A and then all of our numbers, B, and then all of our numbers and C and then all of our numbers. But we do have this extra row here and this extra row is because we have an initial value which is an empty string. And so what we're going to do is use the drop function to remove that. So this is going to allow us to drop a given number of rows. Here we're just gonna drop the first one and when we press enter, now we've just got the list of all combinations of items. Now this is going to be a dynamic solution as we add to our tables here, then our reduce function is going to return all combinations of those items. The next method we're gonna take a look at for getting all combinations is with the ampersand operator for concatenation. And with this, we're essentially going to create a cross product between our two arrays. 
So first off, we're going to need to convert one of these vertical arrays into a horizontal array. And we can do that with the to row function. So that's going to convert our vertical array into a horizontal array. And now we can concatenate this with our vertical array. And you're going to see that what we get is all combination of those items. Now we're going to want to be able to separate these letters and numbers. So we're going to actually join them with a delimiter. So in the middle here, we're going to use some delimiter. In this case, I'm going to use a pipe character. And then we're going to get all of our letters and numbers together with a pipe character in the middle so that we can separate them later. And now all we need to do is convert this into a single vertical array. And we can do that with the to call function. And now we've got a vertical array. We can separate these based on the pipe character. So for that, I'm gonna use the text before and text after function. So first up, we're going to take text before and return all the text before our pipe character. And that's going to give us our letters. And then we're going to use text after to do a similar thing and get all of the numbers. So again, we're going to take the text after our pipe character. And let's just change that reference to our original array. And now we've got the numbers. And we can use hstack to combine these two arrays horizontally. And now we've got every combination of items from our two arrays. We can, of course, combine all of these steps into a single formula. So here we've got a formula that does exactly that. And here we're going to use a let function to first define our delimiter. And then we're going to create our single array of values separated by that delimiter. And then we're going to use the text before function to get the text before the delimiter and the text after function to get the text after the delimiter, and then use hstack to join those together. And that's what our let function is going to return. Again, these are dynamic formulas, so we can add items into these tables, and then our formulas are gonna update accordingly. So now we've got all combinations of all of those items in our tables, just like before. The last method we're going to take a look at for getting all combinations of our items is going to be with Power Query. So first up, we're going to import our tables into Power Query. So we're going to select the first table and head up to the Data tab and click on the From Table slash Range command. And that's going to open up the Power Query editor with our table here in the Data Preview window. And all we want to do right now with this is close and load this and we're going to load it as a connection only so that it's available in our power query editor and we're going to do the same thing with our second table here let's go back up to the data tab and select from table slash range and now we've got those two tables in power query with our second table selected here, we're gonna go up to the Add Column tab and we're gonna add a column into this table. So we're gonna create a custom column. And the formula for this is just going to be referencing our other table called Letters here, Letters 3. And when we press OK, each row now has that table in it. So you can see here each row has the items A, B, and C in a table. And what we're going to do is expand these tables. So we can click on the expand toggle up there on the column and expand. And here 
We're going to remove the prefix for the column name and press OK. And this is actually going to give us all of the combinations of those items. And so we can now load this into Excel. Let's go to the Home tab, click on Close and Load, Close and Load 2. And this time we're going to load it into a table so that we can see it in the grid. And we're going to load it right here. And this will be dynamic as well, but we'll need to refresh the query to see the results. So here we can add items into our table. And now if we want to see those items in our list of all combinations, we can right click on that table and refresh. And now we've got all combinations of those items. So there you have it, three easy ways that you can get all combinations of items from two lists. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one.